Hey folks and welcome back. It's day two of the four day lead generation challenge and I know we've been talking a little bit around marketing and engagement and things like that. However, however, lead generation is marketing. It is not sales. So let's make that perfectly clear. So today on day two, we're going to be talking about uh, what sort of content to be putting online and how to measure whether the content you're putting up there has any kind of validity in terms of like success rates and things like that. So um, I've mentioned a couple of tools in the past, so I'm just gonna go over a couple of those tools again. So the um, first tool which I thoroughly recommend everyone checks out is called answerthepublic.com. Um, I will put links to all of these, um, the sites I'm about to show you in the description in, in the worksheets. Um, so, so you'll be able to find them if you don't get them from the video. But um, so basically, Answer the Public looks at Google and Bing, and then it generates a whole load of questions, the things that people are searching for on these wheels around here. And you can actually click on them, and it goes off to Google and shows you um, the top articles based around those. So, um, but I've just put in lead generation, for example, and in here we've got what are lead generation campaigns, what are lead generation tools, what are lead generation activities. Uh, etc etc so um, there's a whole load of questions that people are asking Google and Bing and they appear on answer the public and then the other thing is and this is great if you're looking at kind of niches and I may actually focus a little bit on some of these as well but lead generation four um, which is a preposition for b2b companies for startups for business for e-commerce for loan officers for companies for dummies marketing agencies agencies travel agents banks small business uh, financial advisors, lead generation for business, mortgage brokers, for car salesmen, for Facebook, for dummies, for LinkedIn. So there's a whole load of different kind of suggested niches there that could be targeting um, lead generation. Um, and there's a whole load of more stuff down here uh, about comparison. So lead generation versus affiliate market, uh, marketing, lead generation versus lead acquisition, lead generation versus brand awareness. So there's just so much content that you can actually produce and so many different titles there. Um, Answer the Public is such a great resource and these are things that people are actually looking for. The second tool is um, Portance Content Idea Generator. So this is about then producing like um, headlines that are gonna captivate people's imagination and get them to read your content. So this is lead generation. We generate leads through producing content. It doesn't matter whether it's online or offline or in magazines, on the radio or in books. It doesn't matter where we produce this content. We have to produce catchy headlines to get people, like to get people hooked in to your content and to actually read about it. This is all about raising brand awareness. So 11 ways to become the MacGyver of lead generation. How le lead generation can help you predict the future. That's a cool one, I like that one. How lead generation is like the school bully. Um, why no one talks about lead generation anymore because we think the internet makes things easy and we don't have to generate leads because the internet does it all for us, which is utter bullshit. We've still got to produce the content. Um, there's another one which I found, and this one is seriously cool. So this one's called uh, title-generator.com and it literally gives you seven he 700 headlines, titles, and content ideas. Um, who else wants to be successful with lead generation? Five brilliant ways to use lead generation. At last, the secret to lead generation is revealed. What makes lead generation, uh, I don't know what that one means. Um, fear not, if you use lead, lead generation the right way. Um, so cool, so there's 700 titles. I mean, you could go through all of this. There's lists and how to's and why's, questions and all sorts of stuff, like three entire pages worth of this stuff. Um, it's a great tool. Uh, the next one is topical brainstorm. Don't forget as well, like we're writing about content that our readers will be interested in. We've got to produce content nowadays that is valuable. There is nothing out there that you can't get for free. There, there is no new idea. There are no new ideas out there that somebody hasn't already produced. There will never be another Facebook. There's a whole load of noise which you've got to cut through. And just writing, these may seem like cliche, like headlines and titles, but they are known and proven to work. So like use these tools, they are so important. Like use those tools, um, you know. Uh, this one, online sales that could indicate, it's the topical brainstorm. So five easy ways to get more leads. Uh, nine examples of why getting le more leads is important. Five reasons to get more leads. Um, how to get more leads, how to buy more leads. Uh, why you need to get more leads. So these are all like things, again, that people are gonna be like, oh yeah, lead generation, yeah, I like the sound of that. 
Next one. Oh, this one I thought would be quite fun in terms of like what to what sort of content to put out there. So again, like the imagery which we use is again like normally for most people boring stock. I occasionally use stock if I'm totally at lost cause and I don't have anything in my own um, of my own to use. But again, there's loads of great tools out there like um, Canva, and this is a fun one I found, breakyourownnews.com, where you can put your own headline in there and a, a, a news ticker underneath, um, which you can make really long, um, and a picture. And it's just a way of just like putting some some more fun, sort of engaging like content out there and like posting this on like uh, where, wherever you can kind of use imagery, which is most social media platforms. Just again, just to hook people in and just like, Deliver your content in a different way, like a groundbreaking way. Um, so again, like what sort of content, so how, how those headlines I've been discussing, how do they fit into um, social media? So first and foremost, like in order to generate leads and brand awareness, you've got to be connected with people. If your social networks aren't big enough, you're gonna struggle to generate leads. If you're not out there networking enough, you're gonna struggle to generate leads. If you are not producing content, and being seen by people, you are gonna to struggle to produce leads. So if you're using LinkedIn, connect with people. If you're using Twitter, Twitter, try and get followers. If you're using YouTube, get get people to subscribe to your content. But in terms of what content you need to be putting out, so this one is a good example of, um, you know, do you have a yes problem? 1900 views, 27 likes. Uh, by the way, in, a, in, um, in the next video, day three, I'm gonna be talking about how you actually become more consistent with your content because it's consistency is the key. This is this is a marathon, not a sprint. We don't just wanna push out one piece of content and expect all leads to come in. This is like, we've got it, this is a long-term thing that we're committing to here. This is a 12 to 18 month journey of being consistent with the copy we're putting out and content we're putting out. Uh, what was this one? So this was me at the business show, rocking out the Gloucestershire business show again. So thousand views, 30, lots of likes on that one, not many views. Um, are you snatching a moment here or there to reply to an email or a moment to write a post or content or update your status? Uh, 3,000 views, 35 likes. Again, that was reasonably popular. Um, that one didn't work for some reason. Got no goals, prepare to be disappointed, didn't work. Um, and some of these things won't work. Do you want more leads for your business? Five and a half thousand views, 34 likes, 40 comments. So that one got more views because there were more comments against it. So you've got to gamify these things as well. You notice all of my posts are just very simple like headlines to start off with. Let's make it as easy as possible to see what this article is about basically. Um, what else is there? Uh, so YouTube, so um, my YouTube channel now, I think I'm up to 68,000 views, 69,000 views, 642 subscribers. Like again, there are metrics like uh, that I want to get to. So I want 100,000 views and 1,000 subscribers. Um, YouTube likes those sort of those vanity metrics. Uh, it's just the way algorithms work. But when it comes to the content, it's just about, um, uh, again, like using headlines, how to write a simple marketing plan. Um, how to produce a simple video for business, how to plan the perfect videos for your business. Um, Facebook ads examples, how much do Facebook ads cost? So you can see all of this content has come pretty much straight out of the, um, out of uh, answer the public, because I, I'm producing content that people actually want to view. Now actually, when you get down into the nitty gritty of it, a lot of my videos, um, my more recent ones, don't have many views, but I see it as little and often. If every one of my views is getting 10, every one of my videos is getting 10 views a week, and I've got 100, videos, that's a thousand views a week. A thousand potential prospects who are watching my videos. And if they get the message within it, you know, eight, five, eight, nine, nine, seven. Here we go, these ones have been out a bit, little bit longer, 19, 12, 19, you know, this one, 523. Um, I was more proactive about pushing that content out there. Market your own content as well. Like this is a great tip. Like if you produce a video, you share it into loads of places and, and encourage other people to watch it. Um, Further down my video trail, so 23, 47. Again, these videos have been out longer, 49, 220, 439, 500. And then we get into like the, the big numbers, six and a half thousand, 1500, 18,000 views, 7,000 views. And these, these videos are just ticking along quite nicely. Uh, what else is there? Twitter. So I, I just feed content into Twitter from LinkedIn and YouTube mainly and occasionally post my own content. But you can see here, this one's come from um, LinkedIn. This one's come from YouTube. So uh, this is another one which I put in organically. It's another one I put in organically. So I've got quite a nice mixture of content, I think, in there. Rich content from 
um, from LinkedIn, YouTube, and organic content. Um, and again, it's about posting consistently to make sure that you've got some regularly, you know, up to date and refreshed content. Uh, and we'll be again, we'll be talking about how to post consistently in the next video. Also, Instagram, I tend to keep this kind of a bit more personal, like tracking my day to day life, things that I'm up to, like. Uh, you know, repointing a wall, clients I've worked with, the odd model here or there, if I've done a, an interview, um, if I've, uh, when I was out my mastermind in Cyprus, the business show, like my house, like just little things just to show people about kind of um, what I've been up to basically. Um, and then finally, like how do you actually measure, and this is really important, how do you measure how successful your your content is, the content you're producing is? Um, and essentially, there's there's a number of different ways. So one, you can look at the vanity metrics. How many visitors have you had to your website? How many people are following you on social media? How many people view, comment, like, share your posts and things like that? But I think ultimately, like, the world still revolves around Google as a search engine. Like, 80% of the traffic goes through Google before it goes anywhere else. So I measure most of my, my success through um, my presence on Google. So... I've just put in my name, so you can Google your name basically and see what comes up. So on the home page, straight away you'll see that every single one of the organic links is mine. So my book, my Twitter profile, my Facebook listing, my Eventbrite listing, my LinkedIn page, my Amazon account, sorry, my Amazon book writing page and my website. Every single one of these pages is mine. So if anybody searches Robin Way, I appear everywhere. That's why I don't put contact information on my business cards because people can Google me. And I don't do that to be arrogant. It adds in another touch point because they will look at my website, my Amazon page or wherever. Um, it's just an extra step in the process and it kind of counts, discounts the tire kickers and the time wasters. Also from a real estate perspective, you'll see I, um, I've got uh, a guy working with me on my Google My Business listing, which is prolific. Like I've got reviews. I've got lots of photos on there. I've got it linked to content which I'm putting out on Google Google My Business. Loads more reviews. Um, you know, so you can see that I've covered, like my real estate when you search me on Google is just ridiculous. And I bet even if I went through to page two, yeah, so KPI, so YouTube, YouTube, Goodreads, Amazon. Uh, don't know who that guy is. Um, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. So. Or, Page two, all bar one link, are all mine. Um, don't know what that is. Uh, that's me, that's me, that's me. That's, you get the picture. So um, the next thing you can also do is then go to Google Images. And you'll see in here, um, there is a whole host, basically it's just me everywhere. Um, and uh, my books, my YouTube thumbnails, my podcast interviews, my headshots, events which I've spoken at, um, social media posts which I popped up there, Amazon screenshots, book screenshots. Like, you, you again, you can see how much real estate I'm covering on Amazon. And this is all just about, like, if anybody searches for me, then they can find me. And that just shows me that I'm putting out the right sorts of content. Is there anything about me in the news? Uh, not recently, no, and, oh, there is one, there's me, so there's me, that's obviously not me, but that's me, uh, videos, yep, those are all my videos, page one, page two, page three, uh, page four, bet on page nine, yep, page nine, I've still got stuff coming out there, page 13, Yay, still got stuff even on page 13. So again, it's about being prolific and measuring it. And so basically I've just done this through consistently posting content over the last like year to two years, um, maybe even a little bit longer. So that's um, day, uh, day two of the four day um, lead generation challenge. Um, about what sort of content to put up and how to measure the success of it. So um, uh, make sure you do come on board and check out day three because that's going to be about how to be consistent at posting. It'll be a much shorter video than this one, but it'll be basically how you can be more consistent at posting content and what impact that has on generating leads.